Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Florida Chicken Coops. The sun's finally out here in Chieflin, and I wanted to get this video of this 12-foot coop that I build before I deliver it tomorrow. Now, I do build a 16-foot long coop and an 8-foot long coop, and both of those videos are already up on YouTube. I just didn't have one of the 12-footer. So here we go. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know that these are all identical except for the length. They've all got all this bracing down here at the bottom. And they've got bracing up here in the top. And up in the rafters. And like I said, if you've seen my videos, you know that I believe in bracing, bracing, bracing. Just can't have too many braces. Now up there in the top, you'll see that insulation. They also come with one inch insulation, insulation up there in the top. And on the sides here, that's half-inch hardware cloth. That is not chicken wire. And on the side of the hen houses, that's one-inch rough-cut kiln-dried cypress. So it's going to be there for a day or two. That's board and batten style. There's one of those slider windows. There's actually three on these coops. And they all open and close. And up there on the top, that roof is set on a 412 pitch. And, of course, that's Galvaloom right there. I buy that from Reed's Metal. It's the same metal that you put on your home. So, it's going to be there. Good and sturdy. Around the back here, there's another one of those windows. And there's the uh, nesting box. That way you don't have to go into your coop to gather your eggs. Not everybody wants to get chicken poop on their shoes, but I have found that most people do enjoy the fresh eggs. So I've got these little latches on all of them, which makes it really easy to get in and out of your coop. Because these coops are going to settle a little bit, because we're on sand. And that way, you know, you won't get yourself locked out of your nesting box. Oh, let me open this and show you guys that all of them come with three nesting boxes. And of course, if you've had chickens before, you know as well as I do that they're going to figure out which one they like to lay their little eggs in, and that's where they're all going to go. There's that other side, and there's that other window. And down here on this side is the sliding door, so you can let your chickens in and out to a free range if you want to. And they're all set up on a little pulley system up there. Just makes it a little easier to open and close that door there. And this can go on either side of the coop. Whenever you uh, place your order, you just let me know which side of the coop you want it on. And around front here is this man-sized door. And that's just so you can get in there and clean your coop or, you know, whatever you need to do. Now, that door can be put on the side of the coop if you like. I've done that on a couple of coops. The door will just not be quite as tall. But, again, you can do whatever you want to do. Now, those doors do lock when they shut. And I've rigged a little system up on the inside so you can get yourself out of there. Because when I first started building these, I locked myself in the coop. Thank goodness I had this little sliding door here open, so I was able to crawl out. And of course, if you've seen my other videos, you hear my husband talking about a neighbor who got locked into one of these coops because she was over there just helping herself to some fresh eggs. That was quite funny. On the inside here, I think you can see that that's one of the little roosting bars over there. That's two by fours that I lay flat. That way you got plenty of room for the chicken's feet. And that one's up high, and there's the other one. It's down low, and those are adjustable. You can move them around to suit your own needs. Now up there in the top there, you're going to see that ladder, and that actually goes on the front of that nesting box so the chickens can get up there and lay those wonderful eggs. And they do use it as a springboard to get up on these roosting bars as well. Now let me get off here on the back and get you a good picture of the back of these coops. These are just really, really pretty coops. They look really nice. And, you know, some of these 
HOA places, they allow you to have chickens and chicken coops and whatnot, but, you know, they don't want you to have an eyesore out there in your yard. So, again, you can, um, I let all the customers choose the color of their roof and of their coop as well. Because, like I said, a lot of people like for these coops to match their homes or match their horse barns or, or you know, whatever. So, I try to uh, accommodate everybody, you know, just the best that I can. But again, they're they're really nice size coops. I've got a three sizes now to hopefully fit everybody's needs. And these are not just for chickens, guys. I have actually had a lady buy one of these coops, and she puts her uh, cats in them. And we left the nesting box, and that's where the cats sleep. And we left the uh, roosting bars as well because you know cats like to crawl up on things. And so she just called and said her cats just absolutely love it. And now she does not have to worry about her cats out in the yard. All right, there's a good picture of the front of this coop. Now, I don't have a website, guys. I just strictly advertise on YouTube. So if you want to contact me, I will put all the information down in the description box. You can uh, just give me a call, email me, contact me through this YouTube video. I've got a, to deliver this coop tomorrow, and then I've got an 8-foot and then two 16-footers to build. So I am a busy woman. And this is a one-woman show. I do all the building, and I do all the delivering. So I do have a uh, what I call my build list or my wait list. So uh, like I said, if you're interested in a coop, you can call me or contact me through email or through this video, and uh, I'd be more than happy to build you a coop. I appreciate you guys watching, and y'all have a good one.